So today we have an interesting geometrical problem. We take a triangle A, B, C in which the angle B is 90 degree. Now keeping the fixed point as B, we rotate this triangle in this particular direction. Now we label the corners of this new triangle as P and Q and these two intersection points as J and K. Now note this particular thing that the point B is common between these two triangles and both of these triangles are congruent to each other. Now the fact that specify the rotation of this triangle is that the point K is midpoint of the line segment PQ. Now we have length of the line segments like AJ is having a length 5 cm, JK is having a length 4 cm and it has been asked to find the length of the line segment CK. So this is a Murmisha now let us see the solution how can we solve this particular question. Ok so here we have our main diagram. Now the question was to find the length of the line segment KC and it was given that AJ is having a length 5 cm, JK is having a length 4 cm. Now what we have to find is length of KC so let it be equals to a variable x. Now the total length of AC becomes 5 plus 4 plus x that is going to be equals to 9 plus x. Hence PQ is also going to have the same length because the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PBQ. Wait a minute. The question arrives, why this triangle are congruent? This is because the blue triangle is just rotation of the black triangle from the fixed point B in this particular direction. Hence blue triangle is congruent to black triangle. Now AC was having a length 9 plus x, PQ is also going to have the same length 9 plus x. Now we will utilize the fact that K is midpoint of the line segment PQ. Therefore the length of PK is going to be equals to 9 plus x upon 2 and the other half is also going to have the same length 9 plus x upon 2. Now hold the breath, we are going to use the master step of the solution. We will simply draw a line segment from the point B to K. But wait a minute, we will utilize it a bit later on. First of all, let us utilize that blue triangle and black triangles were congruent. Hence, if we take angle A as equals to theta, angle P is also going to be equals to theta. Now let angle A, K, B be equals to a variable alpha. Ok now moving back to the line segment BK, this line segment is the most important line segment in the solution but currently it is having no length. So first of all let us find it out its length. So for that we will simply take a different right angle triangle because the line segment BK is just inscribed inside a right angle triangle PBQ with the given criteria that K is midpoint of the hypotenuse. So we will just create the same thing in a different diagram. Ok so here we take the same right angle triangle PBQ in which the angle B is 90 degree hence PQ is the hypotenuse. Now we mark the center of the hypotenuse as the point K. Now we draw a line segment joining the points B and K. Now our goal is to get the length of this particular line segment. So for that we will simply draw a perpendicular from point K to base of this right angle triangle and let that intersection point be labeled as O. Now we can clearly see that angle O is also 90 degree and angle B is also 90 degree and both of them are on the same base. Hence the line segment BP is parallel to line segment OK. Now we can also see that the point K is bisecting one of the side of the triangle. Hence we can use the basic proportionality theorem. It says that if a line is parallel to base of a triangle, it means it will bisect the other two sides in equal ratio. Now here we can see that the line is parallel to base of the triangle and it is bisecting one of the side and it is bisecting it equally. Hence it will bisect the other side also equally. Therefore the line segment OB is having same length as OQ. Now look in this triangle OKB and other triangle OKQ. The line segment OK is common between them. The angle O is 90 degree same in both of them. Now the line segment OB is having the same length as OK we have just proved. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent because of side angle side. So once two triangles are congruent, rest of the things between them become equal. Therefore, the line segment BK is having the same length as KQ that is equals to KP and that is equal to half the length of the hypotenuse. Hence, we have concluded that if K is midpoint of the hypotenuse, therefore the line segment BK will have a length half the length of the hypotenuse. Now in our original question, we were having a length for PQ. So we have just seen that BK should have a length half the length of the hypotenuse. PQ is the hypotenuse and it is having a length 9 plus x. Hence BK will have a length 9 plus x upon 2. Now look in this triangle PKB. PK is equals to KB hence it's an isosceles triangle. 
therefore the angle P is already equals to theta so angle B in this particular triangle would also have a value theta ok so we are almost done with the solution now all you have to do is observe the triangle ABK and the other triangle BJK these triangles are similar to each other because of the angle angle property one of the common angle is theta and other common angle is alpha hence two triangles are congruent because of the angle angle property now once two triangles are congruent their sides become proportional therefore AB upon BJ is going to be equals to BK upon JK is going to be equals to AK upon BK now out of this we are going to compare the middle ratio to the last ratio now in the middle ratio we can see BK is having a length 9 plus X upon 2 upon JK that is having a length 4 equals to AK that is having a length 5 plus 4 9 upon BK that is having a length 9 plus X upon 2 now we can simply do the cross multiplication therefore 9 plus X upon 2 the whole square equals to 9 into 4 that is 36 now we can simply take square root on both of the sides therefore in the left hand side we will have 9 plus X upon 2 equals to square root of 36 that is equals to 6 now when you will simplify this particular equation you will get the value of x as equals to 3 and that's the answer that we were looking for